Hey, thank you for taking the time out to see this quick demo. Let's go ahead and just run through a very quick sample and then we're gonna debrief it a little more in detail. So let's go ahead and open up the app. While that opens up, we could see the invoice right here, the PDF. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually select that PDF invoice of the utility that I downloaded from my online portal. I'm gonna go ahead and select my tenant's name for testing purposes and I'm gonna select their email address. Now I'm gonna preview that email from here. Just from a quick glance, you can see that all these match up. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second here. And then we'll go ahead and click send email because we know that all this is correct. Once we click send email, it's gonna go ahead and give us a confirmation. And boom, we go right into our client's email box right here. We refresh it and we can see that everything in this view is now in the email and the PDF is attached and personal identifying information is redacted. All right, let's go ahead and debrief this in more detail now. So I just downloaded my utility invoice from my online portal and moved it to here. As you can see, we see the utility invoice right here. I just blocked out some of the stuff here um, for privacy purposes, but we could go ahead and see the total amount of the invoice, the, uh, the month of the invoice, so essentially the month in which the electricity and water was used for for uh, this invoice. So we'll go ahead and minimize this for now actually. And let's go ahead and go into the application to send this over to our tenant. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually select that invoice that we just flashed up. Let's say my tenant's name is Josh. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Josh there. And then right here, recipient email address, Usually you don't want to type it in all the time, maybe human error purposes and to prevent any kind of uh, errors there. So this is a fixed list of random email addresses that I use for testing purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and select Mr. and Mrs. Waffles. I'm going to go ahead and click preview email. And then we see up pops um, the message that we're going to be sending to our email, uh, to our tenant's email right here. And then the subject line of that email that will uh, be in the tenant's email box. Uh, of course, let's go ahead and now pull up the PDF to compare this side by side so we could see how that looks like. So let's get that up here. I'm gonna move it down a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and reshape this to be like that. All right, so let's just kind of go line by line here. So this is just a simple statement. And again, all this is totally customizable in terms of what the message looks like. It's pretty easy to do so. But first it says attaching the OUC statement for the month of September, because that was the month of the invoice to your email for your records. We go ahead and see the September statement total, which is $450.24. We could see that there. We also see the uh, percentage of how much the tenant covers on the utility bill based on a lease agreement that we negotiated before um, closing and getting them into the property. We can see that the total payment of both their fixed rent at $2,100 and then 75% of this total invoice is broken down out here. And it says it's due on October 1st because October is the month after September. All right, so that looks all good right there just from a quick uh, preview glance. So we'll go ahead and close that. We'll go back in our application and we're gonna go ahead and shoot over that email to our tenant. Now in the background, things are gonna be working to send that email. And then we'll see this pop-up notification saying your email has been sent to your recipient, Josh, and then the recipient's email address, Mr. and Mrs. Waffles at gmail.com. So let's go into the mailbox of Mr. and Mrs. Waffles, and we could see right here, we see the subject right there as we saw in that preview view. And then we also see the whole body of the email box that we uh, just previewed a few moments ago. And then if we click into the attached PDF, we can go ahead and see that some of the personal information was redacted with these black boxes. So our tenants or anyone who receives this 
PDF will not have access or um, be able to see our account number, which is right here, like a pin number, or really anything else you want to redact. It's, feel, it's fully customizable and pretty easy to do so. So if this is something that kind of caught your attention or may help your business, or you actually have a workflow kind of like this and you want to see if um, we could integrate and um, I could build an app for you super quickly, let me know. I'd be happy to do it as a fun side project. Um, yeah, thanks for taking time out to watch this video.